Welcome back to another clay tutorial. Today we are going to create King DDD from the Kirby series. After making tons of different clay figures, I have a lot of extra clay built up, which is this nice little ball of clay here we're using. This works perfect for the filling of the inside of a figure. Usually for something like this I'll use foil, but I wanted to try this new ball of clay method, and it seems to make things a lot smoother. I've noticed when I make things with foil for the filling, it just makes things very very lumpy and it's hard to smooth out the foil. I think either way this is a really nice way to save a lot of clay, because I don't even have that much tan clay to fill up his whole body. This is a pretty big clay figure. So here we can begin creating on his shirt this pattern. I'm not sure if there's a name for this pattern, maybe you guys can let me know in the comments if you know. But here we have these triangles. I thought it'd be easier to cut out all the triangles at once by lining them on top of each other and peeling them apart just like this. So now that we have our different colored triangles, we can piece them all together into this long strip. After we get them there, we can trim it to make it look a lot nicer. Now on the sides of that we have some blue lines, and on top of that we'll have some white. This was one of the reasons why I was a little hesitant on creating this character. I know in the last video where we created Meta Knight, I said that I was going to create this one and finish up the Kirby series of characters that's in Super Smash Bros. But after I was looking at it, I saw there's a lot of hard details like this, and especially his face and his hammer. But I wanted to give it a try and give myself a nice challenge. So here we go creating the face. We need to dent out the inner part of the eyes and we'll use some black clay to fill in that. If you guys are enjoying these Super Smash Brothers characters, which I think you are because most of the comments I get are to create more Super Smash Brothers characters. You can let me know which other characters you'd like to see by leaving a comment on any of my videos. Now that we're done with the Kirby series of Smash Bros characters, we need some new characters to start creating. So with his face, I tried to make this into one piece many different times and honestly I just couldn't get it right, but it seemed like this was a very good method, putting all of these orange pieces and then blending them together at the end. So since he is some sort of penguin or bird, he doesn't have teeth in his mouth. So we only have to put a ton in there. Now we can chop off the top of his head to make some room for his hat. I was always curious if King Dedede is from maybe some type of snowy region. Like I said in the last video, I don't know too much about the backstories of characters, so I'm not really sure where he's from, but the sort of winter hat he's wearing makes me think he's from a snowy place. And he also wears these very thick mittens. So here we go creating the feet. I don't think these change very much between Kirby figures. All three of the ones I've made so far have had the exact same feet, just different colors. So here we have the robe. This is one of my favorite details on him. It really adds a lot to the clay figure. So I know it's looking really messy so far, but I'll clean it up a little bit and we'll be putting a white coating around it, which just covers up most of the messy cuts anyway. Now sometimes I like to use wires inside of the clay figure, but that's usually when the arms are sticking off of the body. For example on this one, they're touching the whole body, so we really don't need wires for it. If we use wires for anything, it would be to attach the hands onto the arms, just to sort of hold them in place better. I'm using some aluminum wire, but any kind of wire, even paper clips, works just fine. I did have a lot of trouble though having these hands stay on, they kept falling off, but I think this white strip is going to help them stay on. And now we can take this wire here to attach the head, and everything's looking really good so far, so let's take this really thick worm of white clay and wrap it around the whole edges of the robe. And now we can take our dotting tool and start adding all of this texture into it. I think this is a really nice touch and it really 
gives it more of a fur look rather than just the flat white. So I'm not too sure about this detail here. I want to say that it looks like a rabbit, but I don't know, he's a penguin, so that didn't make any sense to me. My other guess was maybe it's a peace sign. Maybe, again, you guys know and you can let me know in the comments, but this sign is always seen on his back. So now we're going to use some foil. I know I just mentioned about not liking to use foil, but that was for the main character. For here, for the hammer, I think some foil will work just fine. So here you saw how we created a wooden texture. I don't think I've really ever done this before, maybe one time making the planks on the Clash Royale tower. So here we just added some lines sort of to make it look like more like it's wooden, it has these planks in it that build up this barrel for the hammer. So now just like making Mr. Game & Watch, we're going to use sort of a stencil to cut out stars because I just really have a lot of trouble with stars, even drawing them, I can't draw them very well. And we'll need two of these stars, one goes on each side of the hammer. Here's the second star. And now we can take some silver clay, or if you don't have silver clay, gray works just fine. Silver just has a bit more of a metal look to it. And now we can create these spikes across the whole thing. I always create a bunch extra than what I'm actually going to need because I always end up cutting them wrong or when I place them on I smash them or something like that. So we can place these all the way around and sort of blend them in as we go around it. And now on the other side. And now here we have the handle. I realize afterward I really should have put a wire in that. Anyway, here we go. King DDD is ready to get baked. After baking, let's take out our trusty super glue and start gluing some things together. I cut a little chunk off of the top of the, the pole here to stick on the top of the hammer. And here it is guys, King DDD. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video or found it helpful. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and maybe even consider subscribing and I will see you all in the next video.